So my first question, um, of all the things that Joseph Boyce said to you, which of his statements do you find yourself returning to most? Yes, I love that question. I thought that I would first just mention some of his remarks, you know, so that we get into his thinking. Um, he says, everybody is an artist. I believe so. He says, let's make politics into art. Absolutely, I would say. He says, everyone carries within oneself an organic model of the future. True. He says, bringing people together to speak together, that for me is the most important work of art. I feel the same way. What the mouth does with speech, the words it releases, these are the real sculptures. The sculpture of speech drills itself into your ear. Thought is sculpture, action is sculpture, writing is sculpture, and creativity is our real capital. All these things, of course, I take to heart, to my heart, but the thing that he imposed most on me was, Lorene, you can change anything in art. You can change anything in science. You can change anything in spirituality. But if you can't make your change effective in economics, you haven't done a thing. So I think he is very real there because we should think, what do we change in the economics? That is the real idea today, that we change our economic feeling and that we just, you know, go into the thinking of how could economy work. So my view of economy is, of course, a basic income for everyone. The money flows like a bloodstream through the social sculpture. Uh, it touches every part. Everyone on, around the table gets food to eat. It means um, economic, the word means household. So that is what explains why we are so much trying to share. And of course, economic, economics is about sharing. And I think we should bring that completely into the field of art so that we understand that creativity is the real capital. There is no other way. The money system that we have today is really outdated. And we see it happen everywhere around us. <clears throat> so it means if we start thinking differently and we say that in art and we talk about it, and we find the new words and especially, of course, uh, instead of compassion, instead of competition, compassion, so leave out all the competition things, bring in lots of love, because love is available everywhere. So I think it's, I see a whole new world in front of me when I start to think about boys telling me, Doreen, you have to change things in the economics. But that is really what I come back to every time I speak about boys. I always get back, and of course my thing, art meets science and spirituality, in a changing economy was to find out how far can we go? Do we, are we really able to change the economics? But I think we are. We're only a little bit lazy, but we're very near to it, you know. It's almost there. Because if you can start thinking about um, from competition to compassion, and the Dalai Lama speaking about compassionate economy and uh, the Russian economist 
Menshikov, Stanislav Menshikov saying the essence of, or the bottom line of uh, compassionate economy is if I take less, others have more. <clears throat> and then Boyce himself, he said, the essence of economy is if I take care of you, others will take care of me. Now that's of course the inner bank account. That is living according to your inner bank account. So then I think you're doing what we should be doing because the inner bank account is much more real than the outer bank account. <laughs>